My name is Jennifer. Um, I am from New Jersey, but I have lived here for a very long time, I feel. Um, I live in Lawrenceville and have been a part of the music scene here for a pretty long time, just supporting all of our local artists. So my name's Anthony Prince. Um, I grew up in, in Atlanta, just kind of all over. Uh, Dad's a contractor, dragged me around the whole city as a kid, so I've, I've been in, in it my whole life of 26 young and fruitful years. I met Jennifer about maybe four or five years ago at this point. You know, time flies, I'm, I'm really not sure if it was that long, but we met at a white denim concert and shared the similar vision of uh, being, being very Bonnaroo driven music festival lovers, radically inclusive and very eclectic and just, we're gonna put it together. Bonner is really good at just that open-hearted, ego-aside vibe of really being radically inclusive. And so we both kind of shared a vision of just let's, let's try and find uh, a space where we can imitate that. Seeds of Sound became a child of ours about a year after we first met that was, is very centric on the metric of being a bridge, of bridging our communities together. So it's a very big collaborative effort between a lot of local artists, painters, musicians, food vendors, curators, I mean really just the most radical and um, obscure concepts that people can think of, it's probably been there or you probably know someone that's, that's touched our circle once or twice. Anthony was in a band called The Night Shift and he actually had a gig um, in um, Milledgeville at Buffington's. We ended up getting like an Airbnb just to not drive back and that morning the people that um, own the farm wanted, you know, a performance and The Night Shift performed for them that morning and we we're kind of talking with the people of the land, Martha in um, particular, Mockingbird Hill Farms. She was like, you know, we wanna throw a festival here and we're like, you know, why not? Let's just see who we can get together who'd be interested in just kind of executing an idea like that. Um, probably a couple of months before the festival, they kind of got cold feet. I think, you know, there's a lot of stigma with, you know, hosting a festival and what comes with it. You know, the heaven gates, in a sense, opened up to the Oasis um, family farm um, in Sparta, Georgia. And there, uh, for the last two years, we were able to um, create a beautiful festival and bringing all these people together to um, create and just show all of our creative strengths and network as well. So that, you know, when we aren't doing this, um, when we're back home working our jobs, we're able to, you know, for the musicians and the artists and the sound engineers and the music producers, you know, who do I call on if I want to, you know, put something together, a video editor, a photographer, and um, we've been able to maintain um, some of these connections, you know, big, you know, shout out, I guess, to, you know, Tommy uh, Yuri Bay um, of Kilroy Cobra and now Stanwood Studios, who's, you know, collabed with, you know, bands like Universal Psy that are in Athens, and, you know, we continue to just kind of, you know, keep that connection alive and bridge these different communities so we all know that we exist and we're, you know, we're here to create. <laughs> and I, you know, am a supporter of music, of live music. When we connected, we realized we were at Bonnaroo the same year um, and, you know, we never met each other. And um, I would go to different shows and connect with different people from different communities without even knowing. And a couple of years later, um, we all sort of just found ourselves in the same place at the same time, um, that kind of synchronicity and um, realizing we all had same dreams and same goals. And so we've just continued to support one another while we're, you know, want to open up restaurants or open up a studio or, you know, start filming or start our own production company, um, promotion companies, things like that. And, um, and right now, here we are, year three, um, doing a one day festival now, just scaling it back. Um, you know, in Atlanta um, and seeing what we can, you know, do together. I currently manage two bands right now, one Indie Killed the Pop Star um, and another based out of Athens, um, Moon Chief, um, as well as, you know, I run a couple of social media pages I, um, and I'm really coordinator of Seeds of Sound, just, you know, getting all the logistic things um, put together and, you know, making sure everything's running smoothly as it um, goes. So um, Anthony and I pretty much share the responsibilities of, you know, putting on a festival, at least this year at this size. Talent buyer, general managing, uh, general funny guy for comedic relief. Uh, that's sort of what I do in Seeds of Sound. Uh, essentially and then just when it comes down to production 
and uh, the day of and just keeping things afloat. Uh, as far as the local scene goes, or in the Atlanta scene, I'm, uh, I've am played in a couple bands for a couple years. Uh, one was the Night Shift. Currently now, it's just a band called Pico. Um, aside from that, I'm just a player in the scene, so I'm, I'm a bassist for hire, if you will, who just like, go to the jams. I support the other musicians. I guess, I guess if I could narrow it down to simple terms, I'm a musician, an instrumentalist, and a supporter. Because uh, I think it's something I've been very avid on for for many years since I started Seeds of Sound. Uh, for anyone that's ever ha- asked, like, what's the most important thing that you could possibly know or share with people who are just getting started, is go out and support. Because uh, there's no scene without supporters. And to bridge off of that, I would probably, you know, narrow my role down as more of like a networker, event organizer, um, manager, um, and, you know, social media manager as well. So that's pretty much where um, I would put that. (laughs) I mean, I'd just probably say, you know, you know, just always go about things with love um, and always be, you know, able to create and express yourself and um, use the arts as a form of, you know, healing. I think the one thing to always be aware of is just, you know, connections. And when you can do that and, you know, throw in some music, some art, some hooping, you know, just, you know, singing if need be, I think you'll feel all right um, to continue on for the next day. Hey, it's Spencer with Avant Youth, and we're at Seeds of Sound Music Festival. Let's go check it out. Alright guys, that's a wrap for us. Hope you had as much fun as we did. Be sure to follow us at Avant Youth on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.